Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Some massive news coming out of this USC program late Monday night as Lincoln Riley makes it official. Naaman Miller Moss, quarterback one, heading into 2024. Now, now I get up here and say massive news coming out of this USC program. It is massive news. I think it was largely expected news by a lot of people who follow this USC program, but I think we can all agree it's nice to have it official as Miller Moss being the guy heading into 2024. And I want to get into the conversation of, you know, what to expect from Miller Moss. What does he bring to this USC offense? And I think where you have to start with this conversation is kind of the disrespect that Miller Moss gets from the national media analyst as just being an average quarterback taken over from Caleb Williams. Now is Miller Moss as talented as Caleb Williams from a physical trait standpoint, I don't think anybody's going to get up there and argue that. That being said, Miller Moss is a very talented quarterback. I would remind a lot of people, the USC fans know this. I don't think a lot of people nationally do. And Miller Moss coming out of the 2021 class was a top 100 prospect. And it was for a reason. I mean, there's some big time arm talent that Miller Moss brings to the table. But I think even more importantly, you know, we've seen the glimpses of Miller Moss, although a small sample size, Miller Moss has shown the ability to operate this USC offense at an extremely high level in that bowl game against Louisville. You take a look at that performance. I feel like that kind of flies under the radar because it was a bowl game. One, Miller Moss played exceptionally well, 23 of 33 for over 370 yards, six touchdowns to one interception. What gets left out of that conversation is that was a Louisville defense that was one of the better units in the ACC last year. They only allowed a 56% completion percentage to opposing quarterbacks all of 2023. That was top 20 in the country. They were the number one defense in the country in red zone defense. This was not some sort of cakewalk defense that Miller Moss lit up. That was a very good defense. And what you saw from Miller Moss was just that overall command of the offense, right? Everything was coming out on time, accurately to the playmakers in space. That was something that we wish we saw a little bit more from, from Caleb Williams. Quite frankly, there was a lot of, I wouldn't say Superman football, but a lot of backyard football, a lot of ad-libbing on the fly. You saw Miller Moss come into that USC offense and say, hey, I got the best play caller in the country calling my plays. I'm just going to do what he's asking me to do. And he did it at such a high level. It wasn't always flashy, like sometimes it was with Caleb Williams, but it was damn well effective against Louisville. And I think a lot of USC fans have, you know, there's a lot of quiet optimism around this USC program about Miller Moss, as opposed to the national media looking at this situation and saying, hey, what's the quarterback situation going to be for USC? Want to take a deeper dive into Miller Moss and what he brings to this USC offense. Would love to hear from the USC fans as well. And before we get into it, and as always, just want to say thank you to you guys and to the USC fans throughout fall camp, throughout really the offseason, talking this 2024 team, talking the recruiting trail, the amount of support y'all continue to show, it means the absolute world. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel, all the fight ons, all the feedback that you guys give in the comments section. It's been absolutely amazing. We appreciate you guys. And without further ado, let's turn our attention to Miller Moss. I think you got to start with Lincoln Riley knows quarterbacks. I think there were a lot of USC fans that I think for a second might have doubted Lincoln Riley and how he was managing this quarterback room when you don't end up getting Will Howard, which I think USC just kind of backed off a little bit. And then you have Malachi Nelson enter the transfer portal, go to Boise State. I think a lot of people thought Malachi Nelson was going to be the guy in 2024. It turns out that Lincoln Riley was spot on. Not a shot at Malachi Nelson, but he goes transfers to Boise State. He didn't even win the quarterback one job at Boise State. And so I think we can all agree, like we're going to trust Lincoln Riley in the quarterback room. He was spot on with the Miller Moss, Malachi Nelson situation. And I also think that Miller Moss, beating out a quarterback like Jaden Maeva, that kind of shows that he's a really good quarterback because we were banging the table for Jaden Maeva when he transferred to USC, not necessarily coming in to be the starting quarterback for USC in 2024, but we all know Jaden is extremely talented. And so the idea of Miller Moss beating out a quarterback that we think would start for a lot of power four teams across the country, I think that tells you a little bit about Miller Moss. And you, know, you get into Miller Moss, I think it first starts with uh, just a technician at the quarterback position. I mean, he can make all the throws that Lincoln Riley is going to ask him to make, but I think our biggest takeaway when you go back into the film of Miller Moss at Louisville, we've done some field breakdowns of it. I mean, Miller Moss was on time. He was accurate. He didn't put the ball in harm's way. Again, that's a Louisville defense that had one of the better secondaries in the ACC 
Miller Moss, it kind of just diced him up. And you take a look kind of further into some of those numbers that I think Miller Moss gets this stigma of like a game managing quarterback, not a quarterback that's a difference maker. Take a look at some of the advanced numbers. He was five of eight for 163 yards, pushing the football 20 plus yards down the field. Exceptional number. I get it's a small sample size, but it shows you Miller Moss can push the ball down the field. I think second it, secondly, when he was blitzed, he was 10 of 11 for 210 yards and three touchdowns. Then Miller Moss is a guy that if you want to bring pressure, he's going to know where to get the football out quickly and on time. And you're surrounding Miller Moss with elite level playmakers, guys that can do stuff with the football in his hands. And Miller Moss is not coming into a situation where he needs to be a superhuman. He just needs to be a quarterback that runs Lincoln Riley's offense with a ton of pass catches around him. And we think Miller Moss can certainly do that in 2024. His average depth of target in that Louisville game was over 12 yards. And so the stigma around Miller Moss as being that game manager quarterback, I just I don't think it's very accurate when you have that conversation with Miller Moss. And I think what you really should just be excited about is, although it's going to look different from Caleb Williams, I think USC is going to lean on that run game a little bit more. I think it's going to be a little bit more balanced. I think it's going to be a little bit more efficient, right? And Caleb Williams gave you some exceptional explosive plays, but in that 2023 season, it was kind of a roller coaster, right? There was a lot of ups, there was a lot of downs. You know, Miller Moss, I think, is going to give you a little bit more consistency at the quarterback position. I think finally, I mean, Miller Moss has been in this quarterback room for the last two years going into year three of Lincoln Riley. He's a guy that knows what Lincoln Riley wants to do. And Lincoln Riley knows what Miller Moss is good at. There's already that relationship between the offensive play caller and the quarterback. They're going to be on the same page. They have all the weapons in place. I don't think this USC offense really is going to skip much of a beat. And I get it. Is Miller Moss going to be Caleb Williams? That's not what I'm getting up here and saying. But Lincoln Riley has shown no matter who's in the backfield, playing quarterback for a Lincoln Riley offense, they're going to have pretty good offenses. And I think Miller Moss is going to continue that trend with Lincoln Riley and this offense. Obviously, the big question mark is, what does this USC defense look like? But I think a lot of USC fans are sitting here heading into 2024 and say, we're not too concerned about what this offense is going to look like. Congratulations to Miller Moss. It is, you know, it's rare to see quarterbacks kind of wait their turn, you know, be patient. Miller Moss had to do that when Caleb Williams transferred in. I'm happy for this kid. He's been a kid that's been a fan of USC ever since he's been a kid, and now he gets to be the quarterback one of this USC program heading into 2024, heading into the Big Ten. I think I think Miller Moss has really emerged as a fan favorite for this USC program. We'll cut it there again. Would love to hear how you guys are feeling in the comments section. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys, and we'll talk to y'all later. Peace.